Welcome back to Basics 4 and hope these tools help you. We need to start with the blank canvas, so start a new file. Click on the Select tool, then click, click on the Circle tool, which is 4 underneath the selector. Then draw a circle. You will see that it brings up different handles square and a square and a round. Now click on the square at the top and you'll be able to hold the button down on your mouse and you can then change the shape of that circle. If we go to this side, click and hold, it will change the size sideways. Now go to the circle, click and hold with your left button and swing it round And you will create, as I have here, a pie. Or, if you look on here, it's a switch to slice. This is the indicator in blue. Now, if you want to change that, and you want to make it an open arc, go to the next button, which is switch to arc, and it gives you the unenclosed. You can then go to the round and alter the shape. You can also go to the handles and move them. But if we now want to go to a closed arc, then press this one. It's a code, it's called. If you now want to go back to your circle, press the red button. But again, you're left with the choice that you can start again, press on the circle and draw this shape. This time, tell it to go to open, then tell it to close. And you can see that you can alter the shape and size quite easily. Return to the circle. You've now finished with the controls of the circles, ellipses and arcs. Let's start with a blank canvas and make sure the snapping tool is illuminated blue or click on to make it blue. Then go to view and press page grid. Check the selector tool is on and go down to the line draw, pen tool. Make sure this icon here where it says mode is actually illuminated blue. If not, click on it. There are other tools here which we'll deal with in later videos. Now draw a line from any two points and leave the line behind. Click on select. You can now move that up and down or make it larger. But we are going to click on this tool here. The icon is the node tool. And we are now going to click on there and just push up. And you can see that you can then use that tool to make a curve for what would be the top of a uh, window frame or a canopy for a station or whatever you want to use it for. A very useful tool. If we now want to add to this, Press on the selector tool, make sure that you've clicked on the object and go down to the pen tool again. And this time, go to a corner of the curve, click on it, hold, drag down and draw a line. Leave the line behind, go to the other side, click on the corner, click and drag, leave the line behind. And you've now added another part to the curve. If you then wanted to uh, join those together, again, go to the line tool or pen tool, click on there, click and drag to the other side, double click and leave the line behind. And you've now closed it up. I'm going to look at some of the ways you can shape shift or change the shape of different objects or draw them in different shapes. So first of all, press select, press the square or rectangle and draw that. Now, when we normally finish with that, we leave that as an object, go back to select and there it is. We can then move the shape as we've done before. However, if we click again, the handles change in the corners. And if we click on there, we can now rotate or move it to a different position.
click on select, click on the line or pen tool, then click on this icon, which is the spiral path. Click and draw a line. Now release the button and move the mouse. Click, release and move the mouse. Click, release, move the mouse. Click, and you're marking the points on the spiral. Then click, release, and you can go on and join the shapes together. You can do anything you want with it. And as I say, this is one of those tools you'll have fun with and hopefully find a use for. Start with the clear screen again and press select the pen tool. And this time, select this icon. This one will show straight line segments. Click and draw a line. Now release. Move away in any direction. Click and 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 release. And move back to where you started. And you now have a shape that is not all parallel lines, as you will see in the next tool. Start with a blank screen again, press select, press the pen tool, and then select this icon here, which is paraxial lines. It just means it's going to draw parallel lines on different axes. So click and hold and draw line. Now release the mouse button and move away. Do not click. Now click the mouse and release, move away. Click, release, move away. Click, release, move away. Click, release, and back to the start. Now, as you can see there, we now have a shape that could be used for the base of a building or a floor within a building. A useful tool.